Gordon, what's up, Gordon? He says, hey, guys, <clears throat> thanks again for the help you provide on hump days. It's greatly appreciated. I'll plus one that. Thank you, Gordon. He says, I read an article recently from an expert who says the benefits from using press releases do not last very long as the media sites used for distribution do not want excessive content on their sites, and they clean out previously uh, posted press releases on a regular basis. Yeah, we call that the purge. Um, I cover that extensively in local PR pro. Um, and and so, yeah, and we actually covered that a lot in the webinar on Monday, too, uh, with uh, Jeremy of Press Advantage. Is this true? And if so, what is the typical time period the press release remains alive before it is cleansed from the posted site? Thanks again, Gordon. Uh, Gordon, it's going to depend. It's going to vary um, on each individual publication site and even the individual publication sites. The time frames will vary from when they purge those from their records. Apparently, they say they don't want to clutter up their databases, which is bullshit because, you know, the pages carry such uh, they're, they're such small files, especially if they're just text files, or, which they typically are. Um, unless you include an image. My point is I, they, they they do purge them. I'll give you a perfect example. One of the distribution sites for almost all of the distribution networks that I publish press releases through, Press Advantage being one of them, is uh, NBC12.com. NBC12.com is the Richmond, Virginia NBC affiliate, okay, or affiliate for NBC, right? And so I obviously do a lot of stuff with businesses in Virginia. So whenever I publish a press release about a business in Virginia, typically the NBC 12 version of it, right? That where it was that, that, that page, the press release published on the NBC 12 website ranks very well in Virginia. It makes sense. Richmond, Virginia is the, Richmond is the capital of Virginia. And this is the NBC affiliate station for Richmond. So obviously if I'm promoting a Richmond, Virginia, or excuse me, a Virginia business, the NBC 12 version or, um, the press release published on NBC12.com ranks very well. However, they will be they they purge NBC12 purges. Sometimes it's it lasts three or four or five months. Other times it doesn't even last three or four or five weeks. And I know that to be a hundred percent true because I was literally checking on one of the press releases. Um, I'm doing um, I'm recording training videos for a product that we're launching on October first. Uh, we'll talk more about that next week, guys. But anyways, um, I was doing some research on some of the press release stuff that I've been doing on, and literally one of the press releases for my own agency that I, I published about my own agency is less than three weeks old. And on the NBC 12 site, it's throwing a 404 error now. So it varies. I have other press releases published on the NBC 12 site that are now three or four months old and they're still, still valid. They're still there. So I don't know what what these um, publication sites do. Like, I don't know what criteria they use to, for purging. I don't know if it's time. I don't know if it's, you know, and, so, and again, if the time varies, what triggers it to vary? Like what triggers it to be purged to sooner than later? That kind of stuff. I honestly have no idea. The I, the truth, he, there's absolute truth in the statement that you, you heard there from the expert who said that uh, benefits of press releases don't last very long. So what's the solution? Continually publish press releases, right? This is a simple answer to that, guys. Just make it a regular thing, right? Publish press releases regularly and consistently, right? If, 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 if we talked on the webinar, Jeremy says the sweet spot is publishing three press releases per month per business. That's the real sweet spot where he gets the most results. I, through my uh, local PR pro method that I developed and I tested and really uh, I just started the whole local PR pro thing was born out of a test to disprove that press releases worked for local rankings. And, uh, and I, I set out to disprove that, that they worked and I was proven wrong. They do work and they work freaking really well. And so, um, anyways, like I said, just continually publish it, with, with my method, I have found, um, at least a minimum of two press releases, but typically what I do with press releases is I publish one every two weeks. So two per month per business until I gain traction. But uh, Jeremy was talking about how his his magic number is three per month per business. So just play around with it. But the, the key is to continually publish um, anything that's newsworthy. And, and pretty much anything can be made newsworthy, guys. You got a new blog post? Write a PR about it. Publish a PR about it. Got a new review? Publish a PR about it. Got a new special, a new coupon, new discount, new product, new service? Publish a PR about it. New employee, uh, new award recognition new sponsorship activity for local little league or something, publish a press release about it. My point is there's a need, you, you, there's really no shortage of ways to tie press releases or news releases back to the business. And so the idea is to keep doing it. Okay.
again, those time frames vary from when they purge. I, I, the, the goal is, and, and, and if you've ever been through local PR Pro, um, you'll there was specifically some update training about that because we talk about press release stacking and how to essentially daisy chain or silo press releases together. And the key is to not link to press release sites in the silo or the, the, the chain, the stack. You don't want to link to press releases that are going to be purged. And if you do, you should set up redirect URLs and all kinds of stuff. I mean, again, all of that is covered in local PR pro. So Gordon, if it's, if that's a strategy you want to pursue, I highly recommend you check out that course. All right. 